Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Brought to you by BYB Extreme, live on BN Sports. This bout is scheduled for six two-minute rounds, and it's for the unified BYB and Police Gazette Bare Knuckle Championship of the World. So, Biloxi, I need you all to get up out of your seats, raise your drinks high, and get wild. And let's meet the fighters first, the challenger. with a bare knuckle record of one win, one loss, and she fights right here in Biloxi, Mississippi. Ladies and gentlemen, Monica Phenomenal Medina. And her opponent, the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing the gold trunks with black trim. She stands five feet, five inches tall. She weighed in at 134.7 pounds. She comes to us with a perfect, undefeated, bare knuckle record of three wins versus no losses. And she fights out of Denver, Colorado, by way of Mexico City, Mexico. Introducing the reigning, defending, unified BYB and Police Gazette Diamond Lightweight Champion of the World. Damas y Caballeros, presentando la campeona del mundo, Patty Juarez. Our referee in charge, Brandon Hughes. for this, our main event of the evening. 42-year-old champion against 38-year-old challenger. Everything else is virtually identical. Title fight scheduled for six two-minute rounds. The wait is over. Here we go. Patty Juarez. In the gold and black trunks, little gold trim for Monica Medina as well. Red wraps for the champ, blue for the challenger. Switching southpaw, now back to orthodox. Monica said she's feeling very confident on, on smooth transitions. We'll see how the fight goes, Paulie and see if she utilizes that. Yes, good step in, Jeb. There, Juarez plays that position game as well, like we were talking about going away. Nice right hand there by Medina. But Juarez tries to play that positioning game as well. That's right, try not to overcommit herself out of position so that she can land those shots when Medina commits or when she herself gets into punching range. Medina, on the other hand, trying to use that distance game, trying to switch stances and give different looks. High elevation training. Good weight cut for this one. Nice overhand right landed by Medina. Yeah, Medina does a good job of being in and out, trying to change that distance. See Juarez throwing that right hand. Medina gets out of range. Patty Juarez, along with her sisters, she has been boxing her entire life. We saw those boxing skills truly on display in the first ever title fight when she won the title defeating Christine Knuckles Stanley. They split jabs. Nice right hand by the champion, answered by the challenger. Okay. Yeah, been a good round for right hands from both of these so far, both of these girls. Two minute rounds for the ladies. Yep. Que tienes que 
empezar tú. Ya entró uno, me voy con el otro y con el otro. Levanta esa pinche mano de este lado. Levanta esa mano. Levanta esa mano. Sí, queremos ver. Agresivo, inteligente. Moviendo la pinche cabeza. Yéndome de frente, pero moviendo la pinche cabeza. Tengo que ver ahorita más fuerte. Más fuerte. They tell him, they tell him how to move her damn head. Yeah, be smart and move your damn head. And from the big sister, that she can say it that way too. <laughs> Eric Graham from Graham MMA, Killer Bees in the corner of Monica Medina. Scheduled for six two minute rounds, round two. Championship is on the line. Good combination there by Medina. She steps in behind that jab. Connects again. Not up with the cut on the, on the side of Wallace's face. Off the ring, off the hand. Now she's got her in the corner of the trigon. Good flurry by Medina. She steps back and resets. Medina is a tremendous athlete. And she's going to, as she said, put all her hard work on display here tonight at home. Well, she tries to come back with her own right hand there. Action starting to heat up here in round two. And of course, with only two minute rounds, the lady's got to get that moving. Absolutely. Medina had the right idea to start this round the way she did. The thing about the big difference between these two ladies is the feet of Medina are a little quicker. A little, little, she's got these little short steps, she changes direction very well. Juarez is a little bit cement footed, and it hurts her with a, with a fighter that understands how to change distance the way Medina does. With a big right hands down by Juarez as she's trying to close that gap and use those big shots. They clinch, they break, 30 seconds on the clock, round two. Fortunately for Patty Juarez, the cut on the left side is not affecting her vision. She's got to shorten up that right hand, does Juarez. Juarez, a few times, he's throwing some big right hands a little bit wide, and there it wound up behind Medina. See, the blood on the face of Medina is actually from the coming off of Juarez. Yep. Round two in the books. Polly Medina's corner saying it's 1-1. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, it was a close first round. I thought the first round could have went either way, but I think Medina came out in the second round with a point to prove. She definitely took the second round. Six two-minute rounds under the new unified bare knuckle rules. The first fight went the full seven rounds. And it was a split decision win for Patty Juarez. Round three. Patty Juarez in the ADX, black and gold trunks. Southpaw stance again for Monica Medina. Who also told us she, she's so rough and, and rugged and willing to exchange that she said, I know I need to use more technique and, and less grit, if you will, at times, and reset like she did in that second round, which was wise, Paulie. Yeah, absolutely. And again, these wide shots by Juarez actually make her miss herself. A lot of times, Medina's not even making her miss. Juarez throws too wide, and the shot just flies over the top like it did there a second ago. There's a good little short right hand by Juarez. Juarez is, is attempting to get to get aggressive, but Medina Shorter's punches are going to make her pay if she doesn't short up, short up her own shots. Medina said she learned a lot going the distance with Jessica Link. One minute on the clock, round three. Our main event of the evening. Redone. 
you're going to see Medina just changing that distance a little bit at a time. She has that little stutter step she likes to use as well. And again, Juarez shot a right hand over the top. A shot that I didn't think Medina would have made her miss, but Juarez herself shot it too, too wide and over the top. I mean, you heard her talk about that Patty doesn't know how much I have improved. I think the world is seeing the improvement in Monica Medina's game through three rounds of this title fight. as well. Yeah, Juarez has to be aggressive now. She knows she's got to land some meaningful shots. Yep. Also, the blood on her face and not on Medina's face doesn't help either. I know you're not supposed to score blood, but judges are also human. And again, Juarez keeps missing some of those right hands, throwing them too wide over the top. If she would just straighten out that right hand, it might help her out. Medina doing a good job sometimes switching lefty and righty, even if it doesn't create any landing shots all the time. What it does is it creates a different target, and Juarez has to readjust. She said she really worked on being in the clinch and on this switch stance, which has been effective. Good punch landing for Patty Juarez. And Juarez trying, trying to make it a battle of attrition, trying to get close. Over the top, Patty connects. Again, this little switch, it forces Juarez to adjust just a little bit. And, and, and it buys Medina time. But you see what happens? Juarez now has to think, and it allows Medina to sort of rest between exchanges. The little subtleties of how to, of that you use that experience to buy yourself time inside the ring. Now you see how she's backing up Juarez, barely throwing any punches. She's backing up with little, little feints and little stutter steps. And a lot of blood around the right, pardon me, left eye. The right hand's there by both women. Yep. Uh, Patty Juarez. Tough round to judge there. You almost wish you could have the third minute because sometimes they don't separate themselves in those two minutes. You're absolutely right. And the women have talked about it. Hey, when you make it dirty, you're dominating, okay? When you get in her face and make it a brawl, you're killing her, all right? Good action. Things heating up in this, more and more in this fight. See, there's a little left cross there by Medina. She does it with a with a leg switch. You see, she sort of steps in with it and she, as she switches stances. There's a little short right hand as well. And there's some of that dirty boxing from both sides. Our main event continues for the BYB and Women's Police Gazette World Diamond Belt at Lightweight, the champion in the Red Wraps, the challenger in the Blue Wraps. Round number five, this one's scheduled for six. No pushing, bro. Medina's corner said when you make it rugged, you're winning. 
Well, he's remembering Juarez's background is boxing. So, you right. know, on the inside, Medina has some advantages with the dirty boxing. But you know what? It, 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 Juarez has to be in a desperate, desperate situation now because she has to close the gap. And sometimes that puts you in a situation to wind up in, in those dirty boxing clenches. But Juarez has no choice now. She's got to push that gap a little. She's got to push the pace a little bit and close that gap. Medina has MMA, bare knuckle MMA experience, and she's a three strike brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So, much to your point, a lot of different weapons that can be molded into an effective attack in the Trigon for Medina Pauly. Yep, but I'll tell you what else is going on with Medina. Her right eye is closing. Yep. So, cut on the eye of Juarez, but. Medina's eye is closing. Good right hand there by Juarez. Juarez is trying to push that oh, pressure, right, okay. a little bit of that Mexican style now, trying to mentally and physically pressure Medina, trying to break her will and her spirit. What this attack does for Medina, though, even though not all the shots are landing, it backs Juarez off of her. So it allows her to control the center ring a little bit in case she has to back up because of Juarez's pressure. And the cut on the left side of the eye of Patty Juarez may very well be somewhat because of scar tissue over the years because it opened up because much to your point Monica you can see the swelling under that right eye Paulie right here right now yeah, yeah absolutely so both women are landing ah. headed to the championship round I tell you, Juarez is making Medina earn this one, man. I tell you. Medina wanted to show the adjustments. I think we've seen some of the adjustments that Medina has boxed this one fight. Juarez, you can see, starting to make her suffer a little bit as she physically starts to impose herself in this fight. But Medina's still very, very clever. Two minutes remain. Both women would love to keep it out of the hands of the judges. Patty Juarez, the champion, Monica Medina, looking to become the second oh, BYB right. lightweight champion. Good right hand on the break. See Medina's eye is closed. Yep. Swing and a miss. They're putting on a show again here in Biloxi. Sixty seconds remain in this title fight. It's going to be a sprint to the finish. Again, Juarez missing that right hand on her own. If she would shorten that right hand up, she would have landed multiple times that right hand she's, she's landed tonight. And I don't know, that could be the difference in the fight. It was a good short right hand by Juarez, return fire by Medina. Both 20 women, seconds, probably. Yeah, both women trying to show that winning mentality. They're gonna try to finish strong here. Blood all over the Trigon, Goldie. It was only a matter of time. Oh, yeah. as they did 477 days ago. Once again, they go the distance.
became truly a battle between two women who are willing to leave it all right here inside the trigon. It's in the hands of the judges. Do we have a champion defending her title for the third time? Or could we have a new champion which would set up a potential third fight between Patty Juarez and Monica Medina? Great atmosphere here tonight in Biloxi, Mississippi. Judges rendering their decision. And you know it's a tough fight to judge when it's taking this long yeah. for the scorecards to I'll get into you, Big Mo's hands. I tell you, Goldie, I, the two-minute rounds make it a lot more difficult to tell them apart some price, you know? And with six rounds yeah. instead of seven with the new rules. You can get a draw. Yeah. Especially with no knockdowns. Here we go. Big Mo with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen. After six full championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for the official decision. Our first two judges see it 58 to 56, while our third and final judge sees it 59 to 55. To cut your winner by unanimous decision, and the new This time, Goldie. And a unanimous decision victory for the new champion, Monica Medina. Monica. Here at home in Biloxi. I'm gonna let you compose yourself. We got a Monica Medina fans here tonight. Monica, I think, I think you're a bit of a crowd favorite. Now, you wanted your get back after the first one. You wanted to run it back. It's all right. You, you thought the first one maybe didn't go your way, but you wanted to do it again anyway. And now you have gold, unified, bare knuckle champion. How does it feel? Man, I can't even put it into words, man. I've worked so, so freaking hard for this. You know, not just since the first fight with her, but since I started fighting back in 2014, you know. I started fighting because I wanted to be a fucking champ. Um, and since our last fight in May, you know, yeah, I thought I won, but it is what it is. Um, tonight I came out here. I didn't execute exactly how I wanted to, but, you know, I never gave up. I went in there and I fought my ass off, and we fucking did it. Now, we knew after the first fight, the first fight was the war, went to points. This fight, also a war. Did you know you were in it for the long haul? It's gonna go six rounds, you were up against the champion, but you outlasted. Did you know it was gonna be like that tonight? Yeah, you know, I assumed it was gonna go all six rounds. You know, a lot of people were like, you have to knock her out, because those judges are stupid. Sorry, judges here tonight, y'all got it right. But uh, last time, you know, they got it wrong, so everybody was like, you gotta knock her out. But shit, Patty's Mexican, A, and B, she's tough as shit. So I knew it was probably gonna go all six rounds, and you know, I was gonna bust her face up just like I did, um, and she stood in there, you know, but I gave her hell. Now, I would be remiss to ask, you've done it twice, you ran it back, you won it this time, do we see a trilogy, would you run it back again? 
uh, you know, I don't mind, but honestly, I feel like I'm 2-0 and against Patty, so I'd like to fight somebody else first, you know, let, let Patty fight somebody else and fight her way back, you know, because I am definitely 2-0 and against Patty Wallace. Now, you're at home, so I got to ask you, you got a lot of friends and family and fans out here tonight. I can tell you love those people. Anything that you have to say to them and your friends that are watching you on BN Sports? Oh, man, to all my fans that are here, I love you guys so freaking much, you know. I do this for y'all. Uh, uh, to my friends right here, Eric Brown. This guy right here has brought out the killer that I am to my girlfriend right here. I love you. To my other corner, Devin, that's hiding back there. This girl's an up-and-coming amateur, five or six and oh, knocking bitches out left and right. Y'all might see her one day. I'm trying to convince her to do bare knuckle. All my sponsors, there's a bunch of you guys. Neo Life, Neo Nutrition, uh, my uh, freaking race car drivers, I forgot your name, Outlaw Race Car, uh, Lee Bakery. Uh, I got, shit, I got too many to remember Sue from, you know, you fix my shit. I love all y'all. There's a kid here, it's his 18th birthday, guys. I don't remember his name, but Dylan, Devin, whatever your name is, happy freaking birthday! The Luxie, your new Unified Bare Champion of the World! Oh, 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 hold on. One more sponsor I gotta shout out. If you guys are around, go eat at Pepe's Boss Mexican Grill. They got some fire!